Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate muffins with melted chocolate. Real chocolate, which makes all the difference you're going to see. These irresistible chocolate muffins are delicious and simple to make. With my technique they are particularly light and moist and this is how it's done. To a clean stainless steel bowl you're going to add 5 eggs plus 115 grams or 4 ounces of white granulated sugar. Then whisk everything together until it becomes a bit white in colour. The process is called whitening. In the same bowl sift in 95 grams or 3.3 ounces of plain flour plus a quarter teaspoon of dried yeast so that the muffin rises and becomes light. Take care to sift well the flour into your egg and sugar mixture to ensure there are no horrible lumps left and then mix well into a very smooth batter. Then take 155 grams or 5.5 ounces of chopped unsalted butter which makes it easier and cleaner to melt in the microwave. If you prefer you can also melt it slowly in a saucepan but don't burn it. Set your microwave to 30% power, that's about 600 watts on my machine, so that you don't separate the butter and burn it. Unless you're intending to decorate the interior of your microwave with butter, I would throw a kitchen towel on top of it to protect it. Zap the butter in bursts of 10 to 20 seconds. Repeat and stir till the butter is melted. When there's just two or three cubes left, it's done. The rest will melt as you finish stirring, don't worry. Take a standard silicone muffin mould. Silicone's not supposed to stick but I don't trust it so I'm going to put a little bit of my melted butter in to protect it just to make sure. The rest of the melted butter is going to go into our preparation which I'll show you later. Next we're going to be melting up about 200 grams or 7 ounces of dark chopped chocolate with about 60 to 70 percent cacao. Melting the chocolate is the same deal as the butter but ensure there is no water moisture that gets into the chocolate otherwise it will seize up meaning it will not be smooth or shiny but grainy. Avoid covering it otherwise you'll get condensation and water dripping into it. Stir regularly with a metal or silicone spoon not a wooden one which holds water. Yeah I think you've guessed it, water and chocolate don't go together. It's a little bit like what they call seizing which basically means it's like as if you add a few drops of water to a bowl of flour. It goes all lumpy and your chocolate will be exactly the same. Ok go back to your bowl of melted butter and pour it all into the chocolate. I personally like to add a couple of shakes of powdered ginger. I think it gives an exotic flavour to the chocolate but it's entirely optional. Make sure you mix everything up to incorporate everything. Now mix the chocolate into your egg sugar batter mixture until it's well incorporated into a lovely creamy gooey beautiful delicious chocolate. Take your pre-buttered silicone muffin moulds and put them onto a baking sheet. Now half fill your moulds with the chocolate mixture and then give them a little smooth down. Now to make these muffins a little bit special I like to use a milk chocolate and this one's got nuts in it. It's a praline chocolate but any kind of chocolate that's milk will do. Place a piece of chocolate in the centre of each well. By having this chocolate in the centre it will actually be melting when you cook it and so when you break it open you'll have this lovely gooey contrast in the centre. Actually what happens is that the actual cake it's obviously going to set because it's got eggs and um, flour in it but the piece of chocolate's got nothing in it. It'll just melt and stay gooey if the cakes are still warm that is. An ice cream scoop makes life a lot quicker and cleaner if you're lucky enough to have one. If you haven't a spoon will work just as well. Just cover all the chocolate pieces with the rest of the chocolate. Make sure that your oven is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want a dome top muffin leave them like this but I like them flat for decoration purposes so just level them off. Now just throw our muffins into our preheated oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes later our lovely muffins should be done. I'm just going to test them by sticking a toothpick inside or a cocktail stick it should come out clean as you can see, they're done. Just let the muffins cool down for about 10 minutes so that you can handle them and they're fully set. Really take your time to unmold these, they can be quite delicate. Treat them as if they were your newborn babies. I didn't know I came from a muffin. And there you go, chocolate muffin. I'll tell you what, 
This has got to be the ugliest chocolate baby I've ever seen. I'll try and sprinkle a bit of icing sugar to make it look less ugly. Oh, I think that looks much better. What do you think? I think it looks a bit like a yin and yang cake. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome with that little sprig of mint. Let's be fair. Look, another genius idea for Christmas. Look, a simple little decoration like that. You could pass that off as a Christmas cake. If you found valuable information from this video, like you came from a muffin, then subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.